of uh, immigrants to work in agriculture primarily, um, can the public services cope with yet another influx when Bulgaria and Romania are entitled to come here next year? Nigel Farage. Uh, not really, no, and nor should they have to. Uh, I think it is completely irresponsible, wrong, in fact damn stupid, to be opening up our doors next January to 29 million people from Romania and Bulgaria. And just bear in mind that nearly 50% of the Bulgarian population are living on or below the poverty line. This is a real poverty line. You know, people are actually struggling to eat. Give you sort of some idea of how poor it is. The average monthly salary in Bulgaria is 200 euros a month. A pensioner gets 100 euros a month. I mean, it is a country, I'm afraid, in a terrible state. Uh, the judiciary is not independent. Uh, the mafia basically runs the economy. If I was a Bulgarian, I'd be packing my bags now, wanting to come to Britain. And I feel sorry for the people in Bulgaria. But frankly, we, as, as the recent census figures showed, you know, I'd been going around saying that 3 million had come in in the last 10 years. I was wrong. Officially, the figure was 4 million. If you add the illegals, possibly 5 million. And at a time when we have youth unemployment in Britain already running at 21%, we do not need more oversupply so what, in the what unskilled labour market. Because, uh, the question what is should whether be done, the public services can keep, what should be done can't do anything to prevent is, people coming. What should be done, frankly, David, that is why we need a referendum very quickly on our membership of the European Union. <laughs> because, because we, we cannot control immigration policy into this country and be a member of the EU. I wish everybody in Bulgaria and Romania well, but it's a national health service. It's not there, frankly, for the rest of the world.